we're back. I forgot to mention, but another reason I wanted to stop the stream and then restart it for Binding of Isaac is just so I wouldn't have to uh, to stop it in an awkward place because I want to split it up for YouTube, and you can only do uh, it, it only ports or exports two-hour videos to YouTube. Um, I have given my my most trusted allies in the chat room mod powers. I trust you will use them responsibly. I think I had a couple other people join. Uh, Fox, so P H A U K Z. Sam says, "Thank you, Duke, for mod powers. You're most welcome." I agree that Reptile Dude needed uh, he needed to learn a lesson. Uh, welcome to the, the chat room, Cody Farf. And Exergia came back. I guess you refreshed or reloaded or something. Welcome. Oh, I guess all these people rejoining are just uh, restarting. Okay, so more Binding of Isaac. Just FYI, I'm probably going to do this a bunch on my streams. Um, I mean, I'm going to break it up, obviously. I'm not going to do nothing but this. But this is like one of my favorite games. And I think it makes for a pretty entertaining stream, personally. So, if, uh, I mean, if enough people don't like it, then, you know, I'll, I'll stop doing it. But I think it's a pretty good show. So, uh, let's get the show on the road. Good old trusty Kane. Oh, Fox has been in for the entire run, he just forgot to log in. Oh shit, I need to, uh, sync up the chat again. Uh, Lemon Curry, there. Now, when I go to break up the chat log for the two YouTube videos, I'll know exactly, uh, what to copy and paste for, uh, for the two, the two segments. I should do a traditional roguelike at some point. Uh, well, I would really like to do NetHack, since I love NetHack, it's my favorite roguelike, but I don't really know how suitable it is for a stream. Um, I mean, even if I do the, uh, the graphical tile version, which, uh, that's the version I play anyway, but even so, I don't know, it just seems like everything would be too tiny and hard to follow in the video. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Twike. Twicon Twy Dota and Purple Panda 57. Welcome. Oh, Dungeons of Dreadmore. Yeah, that would be a good one. But I'm not nearly as good at that game as I am in that hack. Oh, Twicon Dodo left. Sorry. Apparently, I wasn't good enough. Let me check something real quick. Did I change my, uh,. Okay. No, I don't think I actually clicked update, or did I? Yeah, I did. Okay. I just wanted to broadcast that I'm playing by of Isaac just for any random people who might, uh, who might be looking for a stream to watch, and they say, hey, this game looks neat. Have I got... Whoa! Holy... F I have never gotten this item before. Wow. That looks dangerous. I'm not sure about this, guys. <laughs> wow. Tear bobs, yeah? That is an appropriate descriptor. That looks like a rare item. Can I not blow up the fire? Yeah. It just has to, uh, it has to be right on it, apparently. It is, it is a rare item, I believe, because I have never gotten it. And I will probably end up killing myself with this. Sort of thinks I'm, I'm going to win this run. Get the hang of those bombs and I'll win. Well, I appreciate the vote of confidence. I know I have not had great luck with bombs in the past, as anyone who watched my last stream knows. Note to self, if I get a fully upgraded Super Meat Boy, uh, don't let them push my bomb around. Because I'm going to have a bad time. Welcome to the chat room, Ramofrage95 and Magmamoo. Fucking Meat Boy, Oxbo says. Yes, fucking Meat Boy indeed. I have, a lot, I have a lot of money, let's see what's in the shop. Not much. Compass might be useful. Actually, the compass is super useful on the womb when you want to make a beeline straight for the boss. Might be prudent to pick it up now. Plus side of this is that even if Meat Boy is shoving bombs around, Duke's already been used to think shoving bombs around for the whole thing this run. Yeah, that is true. 
I mean, as long as I don't... Like, as long as I pay attention, basically, I should be fine. Oh, cool. It, like, goes right through these guys. Wow. I totally own Larry Jr. Jesus. Whew. Superpower. Welcome to the chat room, Paragon Spoon One, and welcome back, Mortis Draconis. For those of you just joining me, I got a super powerful yet dangerous item. Basically, instead of tears, I now shoot bombs. And a limited number of bombs. Of course, bad gas. This is a win through right here. Had to finish watching my movie, Chronicle. How was it? I think I've heard good things about that one. I'm not sure. With such a generic title, I might be thinking of a different movie. Is Chronicle the one about, like, the teenagers who get the superpowers? Or basically superpowers? It's like the found footage movie? Yeah, the kids get superpowers movie. Okay. How did I get to shoot bombs? Because I got Dr. Fetus. First time I've ever gotten him. So far, I have to say I like him. However, I'll be singing a different tune when I accidentally blow myself up with him. Don't say that, Duke. Think positive. Welcome, Master Shake and Bake. How did I how do I get him? I just found him in an item room. If you look in the top left hand corner of the screen you see the mini map. And currently it's showing the locations of everything since I got the compass. And the crown indicates the uh, the item room. See, I don't know about this. Jesus. If you're surrounded by enemies like that, I can see how it would be really easy to boss yourself into a corner. Ooh! Small rock. Excellent. Well, I guess not that it really matters since I have the the bomb tiers. Um, normally that's a very good item to find this early in the game. Mortis Draconis means the death of the la death of the dragon. So, so what's Mortis Draconis then? What's the uh, what's the grammatical difference there between Mors and Mortis? See, with these guys, this is going to be tricky. I'm going to have to. Uh, There. I had to slow him down with my bomb before I was able to, uh, to defeat him. I don't want any of this stuff. Shoot it against a wall and kite it into it. Oh, Mortis is the incorrect grammatical setup for it. I see. Oh! Secret room. Well, no. It's... There's no, not a secret room here because I already laid a bomb there. Um, down in the bottom left hand corner maybe? I like Dr. Fetus but I still prefer technology. Yeah, technology is my favorite weapon in the game so far. I haven't decided about Dr. Fetus yet. I like it, but uh, it's going to take some getting used to. On the plus side, if I ever need to escape from a room, I have infinite bombs, so that's not going to be a problem. Uh, and on the other plus side, I can look for secret rooms as much as I want. Can I just shoot one? Yeah, it looks that way. Yeah, I, I can't shoot another bomb until the first one explodes. I can shoot more later when I get more tier upgrades. That would be nice. By the way, apologies for my meticulous checking of every fire and poop pile. I'm just, I like to be thorough in this stuff. Welcome to the chat room, Josh is 19. So much money. Yeah, that was a pretty good secret room. Bye, flies. Oops, shit. What the hell am I doing? Oh, 
Alright. I just have to pay attention and not not get myself boxed into a corner. That's all there is to it. So yeah, like I said, I'm really looking forward to the, to the expansion of this game. Wow. Does that affect my... Wow, it does. Mr. Mega affects the Dr. Fetus tear bombs. Holy shit. <laughs> now they're even more dangerous. Awesome. Do I want to fight a mini-boss? Nah, not really. Imagine getting the homing bombs. Yeah, that would be awesome. I'm scared, mommy. I'm scared too. Oh shit! A horseman. Should be a bomb. Should work pretty well against this guy, though. I would say. Oh shit! I thought he was dead. Okay, let's go back and pick up one of those hearts. Welcome, serious Kako demon. It's already 8.36. The, uh, the Oregon Trail playthrough took a lot longer than I expected it to. So I, I probably won't... I probably won't play again once I die or beat it. Well, I, I definitely won't play again once I beat it, but if I die, I'll probably call it quits for the night. Because I don't want to stream too long. This run is going to be super fast either way, win or lose. Yeah, that is the truth. Super Me Boy knows I have bombs. How did the Oregon Trail playthrough go? Uh, pretty good. I got, uh, about 5,000 points. In the end, it was just me and one other dude. Me and Lord Tamar were the only survivors. And Tamar was infected. Oh, shit. Oh, bad, bad lay layout for having these bombs. Alright, I have a shitload of money, let but I don't have any keys. Can I blow these doors open with bombs? I doubt it. No. That would be nice. Welcome, Empty Apartment Gaming. Welcome, The Chosen Toast. Goodbye, Empty Apartment Gaming. My dog just snatched a fly out of the air. Well, apparently he's ready to, uh... He's ready... to... go up a level in his karate training. Now, once he can do it with chopsticks... Then he'll be ready to, uh, to black belt it up. So, Mike, what did you end up going with for your, uh, your Guild Wars 2 guild name? Was it the, uh, the weird Latin one, or did you go with the, uh, the Brotherhood of the Toaster thing? Wow, Just Drop has a dog named Cthulhu. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to have to, uh... I don't know what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to be very conservative, but not so conservative that I die. Ooh, secret room. Excellent. Guild of the Broken Toaster is what Mike's Guild Wars 2 uh, guild name is. It was going to be Brotherhood, but it was too long for the character limitations. Oh, so I imagine that long-ass Latin name would have been too long as well. That sucks. That was a cool name. Meaningless, but cool. I mean, not meaningless, it meant something in English, but, uh... It wasn't particularly, uh... You know, insightful or anything. Uh... I think I'll actually buy that heart, because I could use it. Aw oh, man, I need another key. Uh, Soul Heart is probably a good idea. If I buy that, I can see where all the, uh... Is that... I think that's the one where you don't actually have to use a bomb to open the, uh, the secret doors. But I have infinite bombs, so that's not really an issue. Yeah, Moore's is trying to talk me into playing Guild Wars, but... I'm not really an MMO kind of guy. 
I don't know. Like, I have so much TV I want to watch, and so many offline video games I want to play, and just so much other stuff I can sink my time into, that I just don't know if having that kind of a time sink is, you know, a good idea. I mean, it looks fun. I mean, MMOs look fun if you have, if you're playing with the right group of people, and if you, uh, you know, if you're all, if you're all starting on the same level, if you if you all have equal knowledge about the game, I mean, it looks like a good time. Oh shit! Oh shit! Bad idea! Oh, lost my soul heart. Oh man, and the enemies are back. I'm gonna have to try to make better use of this cube of meat. Shit! When I get bossed into corners like that. Okay, well now I can go back and open up that, uh, open up that chest. Where was it? Somewhere around here. Oh, it was in the item room. System requirements for Guild Wars. Yeah, I mean, I've watched some, uh, I've watched some streams of Guild Wars, too. Ooh! Rotten Meat. Yes! And, I mean, from what I've read about Guild Wars 2, it looks like fun, but I just don't know if it's for me. You know what, what other MMO looks cool is Terra. T-E-R-A. I have a friend who is, uh, oh shit, who is streaming Terra, or who's, who streams Terra pretty regularly, and, uh, that whole action-oriented combat stuff looks pretty fun. Can I do anything with the dead body things? Not sure what you mean. Uh, the blood blood stains or the piles of poop? No, you, you can't do anything with them. Ooh, nice. That's gonna wow. That is really gonna come in handy in those corners. Okay, excellent. Okay, uh, Oxbow says, I play all MMOs, mainly to try them out. That's, uh, that's a lot of MMOs. Do you even play, like, the free Korean ones? Because there's, like, a billion of those. Ooh, lots of flies. Bad. Luckily, the tailor should take care of most of them. That was pretty good. Okay, well, I can't go to the challenge room. Do I want to bother with the mini-boss? You know, with these bombs, I should be able to take care of most of the mini-bosses pretty easily. So I'm gonna go for it. Oh, it's just envy. See, this was another place where having, uh, having Super Meat Boy kind of screwed me. Because he ended up breaking these things up into more parts on the screen than I could handle at once. But now that I don't have Meat Boy, I can just take him out systematically or semi-systematically. Ah, uh, And I got a key and a troll bomb for my cripples. Well, I was out of key, so that's probably a good idea. Have I beaten Satan before? No, I've gotten to him, but I have not beaten him. Uh, I came really close. I, I got to his third form, I think, which I assume is his last form. Because if there's more forms than that, then holy shit. Serious Kako Demon loves his doom. Headless Horseman. Sweet, maybe I'll get the pony. I like ponies. Well, I like ponies. Yes, the pony! Woohoo! Oh man. So lucky in this game, in this playthrough. Now that I have the pony, I can go over spikes, I can go over pits, I can go over acid, I can go over. Uh, blood. This run is getting more and more overpowered. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Doom White. I want to destroy this game now. Hopefully. Don't want to jinx it. I can charge, too. Oh, yeah. I hit the space key to charge enemies. Not as useful as the, uh, as the ability to go over pits. See? I can just go right over these spikes. I can go over pits like they're nothing. Way, way more maneuverability now, which is good when you have the uh, the bomb tiers. 
the Hermit. That takes you to... Say, oh yeah, the store. Ooh, Steam Sale. Nice. I always get the, uh, the teleport tarot cards mixed up. The full... that teleports you to, to the beginning stage, I think. Yep. Brimstone and Pony always equal death. See, everyone keeps talking about the Brimstone, but... I have never, uh... been in a position where I felt comfortable selling hearts for items. Doopy doop doop doo. If you just sit over the pit, these guys don't know what to do. They just kinda... I mean, they come up next to you, well, they used to just stop stop in their tracks. But now they just walk up to you next to the pit and they just, just kinda hang out and die. Oh, Brimstone works like the chocolate milk. See, I don't like the chocolate milk. I don't know. A lot of people swear by it, but, uh... I don't like, well, I don't like the ability, losing the ability to fire multiple shots in order to do charge shots, but with the bombs, it's actually working out pretty well. But the bombs are way better than the charge shot with shots. I wish I could trigger these bombs somehow, instead of having to time it every time. These guys are actually kind of tough to take out. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna let my halo do my work, do the work for me. I oops shit. I guess I must have updated this game or something because the uh, these guys used to just when you go over a pit when they're in the room, they used to not know what to do. Like it screwed up the AI on the enemy or something, and they just kind of froze where they were. But now they actually come up next to you in the pit. They're a lot easier to deal with in this situation. Welcome back, Reptile Blades. Hopefully you can be a good citizen this time. A good, productive citizen of society. Chocolate milk item is iffy. Yeah, I agree. I'm not a fan. Although, you do look extremely cute. Oh shit. With, uh, with cheeks full of chocolate milk. Like your... Cane. Ooh, a Ouija board. Not that it helps me with bombs. Or, oh, the bombs are spectral too? That's pretty sweet. I wouldn't think it would actually affect them. The only real use of Brimstone is to easily take out the Dark Knight enemies. Yeah, and for those, I like technology. So now, not only do I have bomb tiers, but I can launch the bomb tiers through obstacles. Like rocks. And poop. Make sure I take a screenshot of this guy at the end. Yeah, he's already looking pretty, uh, pretty spectacular. Uh, do I want to further explore this level? I think I'd be better off just heading straight to the, the boss. Did I miss anything elite? Yes, you missed quite a bit of elite stuff, actually. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of good items. And I got a lot of good items that work well with each other. I'm still kind of suffering when it comes to health, though. Spectral bombs and the headless horse. Am I walking through the blocks? Well, I'm hovering over them. But yeah, same thing, basically. I have the pony. I love the pony. The pony and uh, transcendence are probably two of my favorite items in the game. Transcendence has, does the same thing as the pony, but uh, but you don't have the charge ability that I haven't used. No offense, Duke, but Sam is still my favorite LP here. Well, uh, she is a quality streamer. I don't know if she really does LPs anymore. So, uh, I don't take offense to that. Now, if you said, uh, some other guy who does crappy LPs is your favorite LP here, then you'd be banned from the chat. Pony is broke ass shit. I agree. Now, with Chubb, I can just kind of hang out here over the rocks, buy my sweet time, don't have to worry about nothing. Oh yeah! I forgot that you can actually feed Chubb bombs and 
uh, kind of like, uh, whatchamacallit, from Zelda. Oh god. The one that hates smoke. Dodongo! It's me in my old age. Dodongo hates smoke. Oh, come on, die. Thank you. The belt, speed up. Not really terribly useful, but... I guess, better than nothing. I mean, now that I have the pony, speed is really kind of irrelevant. Duke is a good talker. Thank you! That is a very good compliment coming from you. Uh, I can't wait to bomb some Dodonko. I agree. My YT and Steam name is the same. If there's a better way to get to you, let me know. Okay, cool. I'll add you on Steam. I don't know if you were talking to me, but I will add you nonetheless. Anyone on Steam who wants to add me, you know, feel free to do so. Just Duke of the Bump. I don't really play multiplayer games, but we can compare achievements and, uh, and other dick-waving contests. Oh, I hate these guys. I don't like these guys at all. Oof! That was close. Thought for sure I was going to get hit by that one. Welcome, Paradox Zero. Thank you. Duke introduced quite a few people to LPs. Yeah, I was one of the uh, first people on the bandwagon. Which, you know, isn't really something to be proud of, since I was pretty much just copying into Seas Crab. I was like, hey, if this guy can do it, I bet I can do it too. And what do you know, I can. Uh, if not for my knee injury, I never would have found him. Small blessing. Oh well, I hope your knee's better. God, these guys are going to be so much easier to deal with with the bombs. Oh, I love bombs and a pony. For Christmas, I'm, a I'm asking Santa Claus for a pony and bombs and spectral bombs and a halo of flies. All right, wise guy. There you go. Duke, the first YouTube video I watched was Taz on Escape from Mars Part 1. Wow, that was the first YouTube video you watched? That was like three years after uh, YouTube was a site. That's an anarchist cookbook, which I don't want to get because it will replace my pony. No thanks. Thanks, but no thanks, game. I don't need to take into account terrain, period. Yeah, it's like my, uh... I made a D&D &D character that's a pixie. Which is a lot of fun, because I don't have to worry about any kind of terrain. Rough terrain or otherwise. Welcome, I for play. Glad you can make it. Damn, full full chat room tonight. When I, uh, when I paused the stream, I, uh, I checked Twitter, and I saw that you gave me a plug slam, and I appreciate it. I assume that's why, uh, that's why so many people are here. If you, uh, if you like the stream, you know, follow me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, uh, follow me on Twitter. All the information is in the, uh, in the blurb down there. I have two Twitter accounts. Uh, Duke LPs is the tw Twitter account I use to announce streams, and then Duke of the Bump is just, uh, jokes, links, retweets, observations, general buffoonery. A lot of you people don't use Twitter, and I don't get it. It's 2012. I mean, it's time to get with the program, people. Everyone should follow Duke since he streams more than I do. Yes, currently I am on a two or three time a week schedule. Um, this is the first time I've ever tried to, uh, to do something like this on a regular schedule. And so far it's working out pretty well. Um, at least through the end of May. Ooh! I'm going to do streams every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. And uh, some Sundays as well. Not every Sunday, since I have a D&D game uh, every other Sunday. Welcome back to Chosen Toast. I don't like Twitter. I have no use for Twitter. I only use Twitter because it's the only way you know, only way to know when you stream. See, 
I think the people who don't like Twitter just aren't following the right people. Twitter is all about who you follow. Thursday is my birthday. Yeah, I, uh, I heard I heard that in one of your streams. Uh, I should... I mean, I think you said you are going to stream on your birthday, and I should be there, but if I can't make it, then happy early birthday. Oh, shit, it's Thursday, so I'll be streaming too. Damn. Well, maybe, uh... Oh! I almost went down the hole prematurely. Man, why haven't I gotten uh, a devil ring yet? But yeah, if, if I'm streaming at the same time you do on Thursday, then happy birthday, Sam. <laughs> Four hit chomp, yeah. I just obliterated war. God, these bombs are awesome. I'm going to be so disappointed when this playthrough is over and I don't have the stuff anymore. I might just stream on Sunday instead of my birthday. That'd be cool. I'm, uh... I'm actually not doing anything this Sunday, so I might make it. Um... Yeah, onward. Why not? See, having the compass is really useful in these later levels, because I can just go straight for the item room, straight for the shop if I want to, and then straight for the boss. I don't have to worry about stumbling around looking for the boss. <sighs> okay. Had to stretch there. I've been sitting in this position for quite a while. Well, I did get up to, to use the restroom during my break, but uh, I also sit all day at work, so this is a lot of sitting in one day. And I read somewhere that sitting all day is like really bad for your health. Supposedly, it's a uh, it's a trend. Like health conscious people have these standing desks that they use, where they stand at their desk all day. And supposedly, it's like better for their like their cardiovascular system or something. Boils. Oh shit. Or whatever these things are called. I always call them boils. I don't know if I can. St Ooh, game kid. That's a nice power up, but not as nice as the pony. It's a shame I can't have both. Sitting all day ruins your posture. Yeah, I probably have really bad posture because I kind of alternate between slouching forward and slouching backward. I hope the two like cancel each other out, but I don't think posture works that way. Standing all day isn't much better. You need time to rest too. Yeah. Really, doing too much of anything will kill you. Too much standing, too much sitting, drink too much water, do too much heroin, eat too many apples, you get cyanide poisoning, because apples have cyanide in them. So I hear. The ladder doesn't... I mean, the ladder is a great item, but I have the pony, which renders it unnecessary. I'll see what these pills do. Oh, shit. Diarrhea bombs. Okay, well, now I know for the future. Too much heroin? Didn't know that was possible. Yeah, believe it or not, uh, there is an upper limit to the amount of heroin the human body can handle. I know it's hard to believe. A blood machine? I'm probably going to end up blowing it up anyway when I try to kill these things. But I don't really know if I want to risk donating blood with as little health as I have. It would have been nice to get a blood bag, but, uh... I'm doing pretty good on health, actually. Knock on wood. Damn. If I had those soul hearts before, I might have actually risked the, the blood machine. Welcome to the chat room, Zolzan and Andrew3132. It's been revealed that Wrath of the Lamb will have map curses. Ooh. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, supposedly Wrath of the Lamb is going to have like 50% more content than uh, than the base game. And it's only going to be three bucks. Yeah, Edmund McMillan is pretty awesome for selling this game for five dollars and the expansion for three since I have put so many hours into this game. 
This is the best dollar for gameplay value I've gotten from any game I've ever bought. Hands down. Everyone, if you're interested, please buy this game. Support awesome indie developers. Shit. And buy Wrath of the Lamb when it comes out, too. Which hopefully should be around the end of May. Even more than Dreadmore. See, I like Dungeons of Dreadmore, I just haven't really played it that much yet. Um, I mean, it's very similar to, uh, to other roguelikes I played, like NetHack, which, which isn't bad. I mean, I'm sure it introduces its own spin to things, its own, uh, its own twists, but uh, I just haven't really, uh, I haven't dived into it. Mostly because I started playing this game at around the same time I started playing Dreadmore, and uh, this game just kind of trumped it. I've gotten so much play out of Minecraft. Yeah, that's uh, that's what a lot of people say. Well, you know what? I should just bomb my way straight into the boss room. I don't know if my oh I can't. That's weird. Minecraft is just doesn't it doesn't scratch the itch for me the way it does for other people. I don't know. I guess I'm too, uh, too dependent on structure in video games. Like, I need more structure than Minecraft provides. Damn, I have all this money. Maybe I should go gamble. No, that'll just be boring. Why don't you go to challenge rooms? Well, I mean, I could, but I don't know. Usually... I mean, I have so much good stuff that the challenge rooms just aren't usually worth it at this moment. Um, if I didn't have all this stuff, I might do the challenge rooms just to try to get better stuff. But uh, the risk-reward factor for challenge rooms just isn't that high when I'm this tricked out. <laughs> tricked out. I sound like, uh... I don't know. Pimp my Isaac. That's the joke I was going for. I didn't really pull it out though. I kind of choked on that one. I wanted to make a, uh, a yo dog joke, but uh, that's probably overplayed at this point. Welcome to the chat room, Sean B21. Glad you could join us. For those of you just joining us, I am an unstoppable killing machine. Yeah, see, I did the challenge room and I got a bomb. Big whoop. I have unlimited of those. I failed on that one. Which one did I fail on? Oh, on the joke? Yeah. Crash and burn. Uh, so this is gonna be mom, right? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's proceed. Even with all this stuff. Mom's probably still going to be kind of hard. I can just fly out of the- oh yeah, I forgot about that. If you have the pony, you can just fly out of the challenge rooms. You don't have to actually fight the stuff. I think that's a glitch. I don't think it's supposed to actually do that. You know, I'm worried that this is going to be difficult. Maybe I should, uh actually use this pony ability. See, I don't like the, the charge that the pony does because you're not really invincible for it. You can still get hit. Okay, I need to focus- oh shit! I, I need to focus more on not getting hit. See, this is what I was worried about. There is so much stuff on the screen, and I only have one shot at a time. Okay. Now that the, uh, the blocks are cleared away, it might be a little easier to dodge. I'm gonna shut up and concentrate. Whew. Man, that was close. Too close for comfort. Avoid going cl too close for the hands to pop up. Yeah, I'm always, I'm always bad at that. Catch two more bombs now. Nope, still just the one. Oh, 
Take a screenshot. Okay. Print screen. Actually, what's the Steam shortcut for taking a screen screenshot? Like, Shift... F12, I think? Oh, fuck! I forgot that Shift lays bombs. <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. Okay. F12. Okay. I guess it's just not popping up, because I have it in window mode or something. Should I even ask what the other purpose for the hangar is? It, uh, it increases your damage, I think. That's it. F12 won't work on this game. Okay, fuck it. There, print screen. I'll just have to remember to paste it later. <sighs> I really wish I could go back for more health. Oh well. Into the womb. It's time for things to get serious. Did I never... I never typed my thing in the chat room to sync up the, uh... Sync up the chat for this video, I don't think. Oh well. I'll just have to try to do it manually. Special boss in the womb may have special items. Well, on the plus side, I can just head straight for the boss. Did I type- oh, I know what happened. I hit the up arrow key in the chat room and it scrolled up to a previous message. Okay. Oh, I can shoot at all the blocks to hope one is a hidden item. I have to go. See you later, Private Steve. Thanks for making it. Welcome, Darklord3599. Thank you for joining my chat room for my video game playing experience. This is the Binding of Ice. This is an awesome, awesome game. You know, I should probably just freaking start bombing all the doors. I really don't like these things. At all. Welcome, Knuckles84. Glad you can make it. Edutainment at its finest. Yeah, Binding of Ice teach you a lot of teaches you a lot of things. It teaches you about uh, the Bible, and the story of Isaac and Abraham, and religion, it teaches you about the seven deadly sins. You know, when you think about it, this is really a, uh, a Christian video game. It teaches you about parental abuse. Okay. I'm at the boss. I only have one and a half hearts. Just dropped, just learned about coat hanger abortions. See? Very educational game. <sighs> okay, I'm not going to talk. I apologize. Just let me get through this. Oh, it's just Skolex. Okay, <laughs> I was worried about nothing. Still, though, killing this guy with a bomb is going to be. Never mind! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to say killing him with the bombs was going to be tricky, but no. I don't even want to bother with the devil room, because it might be Krampus and I might have to fight him. Glitch in the corner. Yeah, that's weird. How many levels does the womb have again? Just two. Just the womb one and two. <laughs> oh, that was, that was pretty satisfying. I will admit. I'd farm for blocks and I'd check the devil room. Yeah, well, too late. Okay. Head north for the boss, I guess. I have to go lend my bandwidth out. Enjoy yourselves. See you later, Fox. Thanks for... Thanks for coming. Jesus Christ. I don't like these things. They are scary, they make a scary noise, and they teleport. The noise reminds me of those one zombie things in, uh, in Ocarina of Time, uh, yeah, Ocarina of Time. The Redeads or whatever, with the scary zombie screech. Health up, that is helpful. I wish it 
was a full heart and not an empty heart, but uh, I'll take what I can get. Oh, I guess north wasn't the way to get to the boss. I should probably start checking around for secret rooms too. I doubt I doubt any of those walls would have secret rooms, but never hurts to check. I never played Left 4 Dead. Yeah, I played the demo briefly with bots, but uh, I never played for real. Wow, Chubb and Larry Jr.? I, I don't think I've ever had two bosses in one room like that before. Well, two different bosses. I've had like two, uh, two monstros. Aw, oh, that didn't kill you? Bogus. Feeding him the bomb should do more damage than just hitting him with the bomb. Damn! His light bar looks empty. Did it glitch? I think it glitched. Oh, nope, there it goes. And I got a whole shiny nickel. Dead Island is a better game. I heard that's good. Host enemies in this game reminds me of enemy type and I since she oh man coming here with your uh your weird Did that thing just go through the wall? Did I ever tell you guys about the time I glitched this game when I got the uh I had like full speed and I had the ladder and I was going super fast and I walked into a room, and I used ladder to go over a pit, and I somehow got stuck in a rock, and I couldn't get myself out. It was really far in the game, too. It sucked. I was so pissed. Okay, story time is over. Oh! Uh, alright, the best way to deal with the doppelganger is to open up a spike, and just have him walk into the spike. Which is easy since I have the pony. Oh god. Oh man. This is gonna suck. Wow. This is really gonna suck. I don't like these things at all. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh my god. Please be health. Oh, well, good enough. I'm going to farm the hell out of this fucking slot machine. Until I get some health. It's gonna be boring, guys, but sorry. Duke, the lasers from Taz are back. Heck <laughs> yeah. Welcome, Necrab. Oh, Postmon says I should go gamble. Yeah, I, I should have gone to the, uh, the gambling room. That's the red die up in the left hand corner of the map. But, uh,. I would have had to go clear across the map and go through many more rooms and expose myself to more trouble. And I found a slot machine here, which is lucky. Hopefully it doesn't explode before it gives me hearts. You guys in the chat room, cross your fingers and pray to God or Buddha or Zeus or your deity of choice that this thing gives me hearts. If you want to see me beat the game, you might want to see me get screwed on the last level. In which case, you're banned from the chat room and I hope you never come back. I mean, just drop sabotage me during Oregon Trail. Hopefully he's not sabotaging me now. Praying to his evil voodoo gods. Bad gas. I was hoping it was health up or something. Man, just soul hearts? Well... Ah, oh, shit! It blew up! Okay. Well, better than what I had. Can I bomb up here? Yes, okay. So, only a few more rooms before I get to the boss. I mean, I could go over... I should go... I should go to the game room. With as, with as little health as I have. I mean, it's going to be like three rooms, three extra rooms I have to go through. But hopefully it'll be worth it. What?
What is the Taz Escape from Mars? Man, you are like obsessed with that game, dude. There are other games out there. Open your mind, man. Okay, that wasn't bad. Ooh! Oh. Okay. Okay, this doppelganger here. Well, okay. I'll take care of these things first. And then the doppelganger, I will just walk into the spikes. Easy peasy. Driven nuts by Duke passing the blocks. Okay, I'll, I'll go after him. See, I'm just not... I'm used to not having many bombs here. I keep forgetting that I have infinite bombs. Do the Xbox... I mean... I'm assuming that they're like Xbox, but the X doesn't show up on them or something? Alright, is that all the ones I've gotten so far? Okay, there's a couple more here. Well, that was fruitful. Oh wait, a couple more. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for, I mean, thanks for the advice anyway, so it's on. I wish it panned out. Alright, ooh. Uh, let's, uh, I'll keep my bag, ass pill, because I don't want to accidentally set off the explosive diarrhea. Okay. Hey, just half a heart here. I should be able to, b between the slot machine and the shell game, I should be able to get myself up to full. I'm hoping. I don't think I want to risk the blood, the blood machine. Duke, I think there is a secret gambling area around here. Well, if you mean the room I'm in, then, uh, then correct. You can go back and forth between the slots and shell to speed things up. Does that work? I always thought, oh, I didn't think you could do both. I don't really want this. I didn't really want that. <laughs> I would have preferred the shell game to stay there so I could farm hearts from it. I mean, I guess it's good to be immune to flies. Well, I'm almost full anyway. I should be okay. Another bad gas. <sighs> you know, since I'm Kane and everything, some helpful pills would be really preferable. Duke, your Pugsy LP made it into the internet video archive. Yeah, I put it there. See, that was back in the old days when YouTube wasn't as good as it is now. And, uh... A uh, dollar! I don't need a dollar! Uh, let's blow up the blood machine. Okay, that's pretty good. It always gives me money when I don't need it. Isaac looks so beautiful. Well, it's not Isaac, it's Cain. And I would thank you not to get them confused. Because Cain is way better. Of course, not that you can tell it's Cain at this point because of his mangled face. Alright, north or east? Uh, east is probably better. Oh, fuck. No. No, 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 no. <sighs> okay. That could have been worse. Man, having multiple of those eye things really sucks. Duke survives this. He's going to unlock a good item that helps with damage received from enemies. <sighs> uh, brains? Okay. I have my pony, so your blood trail means nothing to me. Oh. I can unlock this block to, uh... Oh, that's weird. Too often into the spikes anyway. Oh well. Okay. You guys ready? Final boss time. I'm not going to watch the chat, I'm not going to talk. I am just going to fight the boss. Wish me luck. Mom's heart is easier than mom, but, uh... This is the first time I fought the heart with, uh with the everything is terrible thing. So I don't know how this is going to go.
Mom, one. Kane, seven. This looks not that difficult. Yeah, it wasn't that difficult. Welcome to the chat room, Tealy Bear. You came just in the nick of time for me to beat the game and get the item. No exit to uh, to the underworld. Shoal or Sheol or however you say it. Which is disappointing. But I beat it. Let's see what my prize is. First time or what? No, seventh time. It is a button? It looks like a button. My uh, achievement telling me what item I got didn't pop up. Wafer. Oh, oh, I get it. Like a communion wafer. <sighs> Alright. That was a successful game of Binding of Isaac. Glad you guys were here to witness that. I'm pretty proud of myself. Have I heard the alternate credits theme? No, I don't think so. Aw, uh, Mortar Strike just got disconnected. That sucks. Oh, the wafer is the only damage resistance item. Sweet. You can't wait until I hear it for the first time, it's horrifying. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, everyone who made it. Alright, well, the wafer has appeared in the basement. That'll about do it for the Binding of Isaac. Thanks for coming, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Follow me on the Twitters, and the YouTubes, and the Twitch, and uh, I will play again on Thursday. I will play something on Thursday. I'm not sure what. Possibly this. Possibly something else. I guess you'll never know. Unless you tune in on Thursday.